Oh, hey, didn't see you there. But wh whilst I'm here, we should mention Crunchyroll. We all know what Crunchyroll is. It's a service to watch all our favorite anime, right? I myself use Crunchyroll on a daily basis. Currently, you can get two weeks free premium account signing up under my link, Anime Balls Deep. Yes, you heard that right. Two weeks for free, Anime Balls Deep. Just sign up below and I'll put the link in the description and pinned comment. I really, 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 really need you guys to do this. <laughs> Got it. it helps the original creators of the anime because they get a cut from Crunchyroll too. All our favorite anime are on Crunchyroll. Demon Slayer, Black Clover, Hunter x Hunter, Naruto, Boruto, One Punch Man. Why did I mention Boruto? <coughs> you know what I'm saying. Whatever you can think of, they have it. So please check the link in the description and pin comment to sign up. Remember everyone, Crunchyroll airs the episodes on their website only an hour after Japan. So you get it as soon as possible. So please check out the full URL, crunchyroll.com slash anime bulls deep. Sign up under my link. Two weeks for free. And let's get back to the video. Bread on. Get out there. Get out there. <gasps> Welcome back everyone and as you saw by the title of the video we got a new Black Clover chapter and at first glance it looks very simple and the pacing is moving at 1000 miles per hour as I'm talking like this I hope you can understand what I'm saying <gasps> oh my god there is a few days time skip where Asta gets handcuffed and testifies they almost kill Marie and he saves the day that's it we can all leave now guys but when you look a little closer this chapter is jam packed to the brim with so many interesting things and all you have to do is think a little you know go a bit balls deep and then we can understand the bigger picture Tabata is setting up for example the exploration of royalty the racism issue and what the other kingdoms are doing exactly so i'll try to explain everything in my opinion as always let's cue the intro you don't fuck with neck, bro. So right off the bat, Asta and Nero come to testify and they find out that it's actually their trial. He's being accused of being a demon and no one is willing to listen to what Asta has to say because he's a lowly peasant. Now if you're confused, Damnatio in the last panel of chapter 216, he detected the presence of a devil with his scale tool and he found out that it was Asta. That's why in chapter 217, the royalty, they tricked Asta and Nero into thinking that the meeting will be with the magical court and there will be a testimony on what exactly happened to know the truth. This would then explain why all the other magic knights such as the captains are not around to help defend Asta's case since Damnatio has made it imperative for the royalty to look good and blame the devil. This is all about politics, he has planned everything. We have to remember that the magic knights are made up of around 98% of them being nobles. You know Asta and Magna are minute cases of commoners becoming magic knights. Yami and William Vengeance got help from Julius Novocrono. Hell, Zoro's father Zara was the first commoner to become a magic knight and this was only around 20 years ago. So putting this into perspective, this means the corruption of the royalty has not changed at all since the days of Lumiere the first wizard king. For 500 years, things have always been trash. The culture has never changed and as we saw in the chapter, the people are absolutely disgusting towards Asta just for being a commoner. I mean, they don't even respect the black bulls and I'm kinda angry. Nero even points this out in the chapter of how, you know, nothing has changed since the first Wizard King's time. Just reading this shit? Oh, it really made me mad. Anyways, with all this cunning knowledge, Damnatio tries to reason with Asta saying it's either you or the other magic knights. Because if Asta does not take the blame, then it falls onto the actual system that protects citizens. If this happens, the government will collapse as no one will trust the system that protects them, right? So Damnatio knows Asta is innocent, but he wants this trial to be quick. He doesn't want to take the time to investigate everyone and everything that has happened. He's holding all the elf reincarnated people responsible, even though they weren't conscious doing anything. I mean, just to point out how corrupt the royals are, Damnatio mentions how Nero has no records within the kingdom and that she has horns, meaning she has performed forbidden magic, thus making her guilty. He's playing the political game for the public to decide who is guilty much like real life, kind of like House of Cards. However, we the readers know this is all bullshit because we know the truth 500 years ago. But on top of that, in chapter 204, page 3, it is explained to us that Nero known as Sekri is actually a noble. A noble 
noble meaning part of an important family line that had some status. She was made a servant for Lumiere due to having useless magic in the eyes of the royalty. So what possibly could have happened is that 500 years ago, the ancestors of Damnatia were so corrupt to the point that they removed all the records of Sekri from history so that no one will learn the truth that they killed the elves to steal their mana. How is it possible that Nero has no records of birth within the kingdom when she is a noble? Did Damnatia remove all her details or was it really because 500 years ago is a really really long time to keep records? But you know, to me that doesn't really make sense since the current king Augustus Kira is the 13th of his name. So clearly they do keep their history going on for a long long time. When Licht was possessed as the demon god and Lumiere had to kill him, the nobles erased any records of anyone involved in the attack and made Lumiere the wizard king afterwards to conveniently explain what was happening. They wanted to cover up their tracks with the public and keep the truth a secret so no one would know the Clover Kingdom is full of murderers and evil corrupt people. It really is just like today's society isn't it? <laughs> you know I'm not gonna say anything. Tabata isn't backing down from the comparisons to reality and this tells me that the hype isn't going to be dying anytime soon. I also have to say that the start of this half of Black Clover is much stronger than the start of the first half. Tabata said that the elf arc is the ending to the first part of the manga. That's why everyone is creating rumours that there is going to be a time skip. It's generally good to see that the series is not calming down at all as that's part of Black Clover's appeal. It's really fast paced and there's action all time round. Anyway moving on, Asta insists that he's innocent and Damnatio says okay Okay, if you're gonna be like that, fine. And he brings in a handcuffed Marie. He plays politics and explains to Asta, if there was a devil and you cannot prove it, that means Marie is guilty of her crimes and must be killed. All the mages that are there try to kill her with their magic and when the smoke clears, it's revealed that Asta swooped in and saved her and he even activated his black mode in devil form. I believe this can go one of two directions. Either Marie is free to go and Asta is found guilty for being a devil or it's revealed that it wasn't really Marie. It was a type of illusion magic that Damnatio used to fool everyone and to show how cunning he is. This would be good character development for him and it would expose Asta of how he's so stupid and he doesn't understand the political game. We will just have to wait till next week to see what happens but you guys know Balls Deep Prediction Magic 98% <laughs> Guys man I Bulls Deep Prediction Magic, you guys know this shit, it is powerful. 90% accuracy? How much accuracy would you guys say? Put that in the comment section below. <laughs> anyway, you guys, if this ends up being an illusion, you know, why didn't Asta detect the key if it was an illusion? So this must be the actual Marie, right? So where is Gorsh? You know, he's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be like, what did you try to do to my sister? I'm gonna fuck it up. <laughs> Another thing I want to mention to you guys, right? Sekri is th <laughs> Lumia must have a thing for birds because he gave her this skirt that she's wearing as we can see in chapter 204. Is this a tool or infused with magic or was it just a gift? Who knows but I would not be surprised and it, it, it's getting shorter and shorter every chapter. Maybe Tabata is a perv or something I don't know. Oh wait. Hello? Hey man, what do you think you're doing calling me a perv? That's not what I meant, it was a joke, I didn't mean it like no, that. No, seriously, how did you know? No, wait, 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 wait what? Tabata, what, what did you say? Yeah, I open up! In this chapter, we see Damnatio call her out because she has horns, saying this is proof that she has used forbidden magic. Now this is true and Sekri did in fact use this type of magic for the greater good. He also points out how Asta is pure, naive, impulsive and easy to manipulate, which 100% explains the plot as to why the events unfolded at the end of the chapter. It's all according to Damnatio's plan to trick Asta to showing his secret to the whole world that he has a demon. Julius Novacrona also predicted all of this. I mean, now that it's 100% confirmed that the Spade Kingdom is a kingdom of demons, it's a factor to consider that maybe there's a demon king that they worship since Julius mentioned it, or the anti-magic demon is from there itself. Maybe even Asta himself has his heritage from there, that's why he was in the outskirts of the Clover Kingdom within the Forsaken region and left at the church in the first place. Someone crossed the borders and got him there somehow, we just don't know, but that could be the backstory of Asta and I'm really looking forward to what Tabata has to explain on his origins. Also, I mean, where the heck is 
William and Patri, since they aren't going anywhere, they may as well make themselves useful, they need to redeem themselves. Maybe then William and Patri will be put in prison since it can be proven elves are back and they caused the reincarnation. Maybe they can testify for Asta and this will result in not Asta dying but being exiled. If this ends up happening, it's beneficial to Black Clover's story because it would allow us to explore other areas Tabata has created and has mentioned in this chapter, in the last chapter Julius explained everything, why would you explain something to the readers and the characters in the show if you don't intend on exploring it? So this is definitely going to happen. I mean, this is Asta's story after all, so wherever he goes, that's where we go. But this won't be forever, we know that much, otherwise Asta can't be the Wizard King since he's most likely going to end up being an enemy of the kingdom, whether he likes it or not. I mean, this even gives Tabata the opportunity of a time skip to take place, and after the time skip, Asta's gonna have a whole new level of buff, man. I mean, this dude may be so swole, bro. Like, he's gonna have, he has five girlfriends already, right? He's gonna end up with 10, 15, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna have 15 things on his side when. <laughs> Anyway guys, thanks for joining me as always, smash that like button and I'll see you guys next time.